Hey guys, it's Danny. Now in my last meal prep video, I shared three of my favorite ways to use my crudite and I love how many of you guys took the time to let me know that you wanted to see more ideas for using your crudite. So for today's meal prep, I am sharing three more clean and delicious ways to use your crudite. Now remember, all a crudite is, is a bunch of raw chopped up veggies that you prepare on the weekend so you have tons of easy, convenient veggie options once the week gets going. So today, I'm gonna be making a veggie packed tuna salad, a broccoli and cheddar scramble, and I'm kicking up a can of soup with some fresh kale. And just an FYI, all of these recipes can be made in under 10 minutes. First up, I've got my veggie packed tuna salad. So I'm just going to grab a handful of carrots, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, and some radishes. Now I don't usually measure this out, but for you guys I did, and it ends up being about a quarter cup of each vegetable once it's chopped up. So I'm going to chop these up nice and fine, and then add them to a medium sized bowl. Then I'm adding in one can of tuna, and remember guys, whenever you're buying tuna, you wanna look for skipjack tuna because that's the kind of tuna that's gonna have the lowest mercury content for canned tuna. Next, I've got a third of a cup of plain Greek yogurt. We're doing that instead of the mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna season it with one clove of crushed garlic because I love garlic, a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and then just stir this all together and you're gonna have yourself this really fresh, crunchy, clean and delicious veggie packed tuna salad. Now you could eat this as is, you could put it on a sandwich, turn it into a tuna boat. The options are endless. And remember, you can take this recipe and use it for canned salmon and sardines as well. Next, we've got the broccoli and cheddar scramble. So I grab a nice big handful of broccoli from the crudite and then I chop that up nice and fine. This is a great time to practice your knife skills because the better you get at using your knife, the faster your meals are going to come together. Then we're gonna heat a small nonstick saute pan over a medium heat. I'm gonna give it just about a half a teaspoon of coconut oil, and then I'll add in my broccoli. Season that with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and just toss it around. Now I only let the broccoli cook for two minutes or so because I'm not looking for it to get very soft and mushy. I just wanna get the raw edge off of it. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to prep my eggs. I have one whole egg and then a third a cup of egg whites and I'm just gonna whisk that together. Now you could certainly do two whole eggs or two all egg whites here, but I like to do a half and half because with the coconut oil and then I'm gonna be adding cheese later, I find it to be a nice balance of the fats. Plus the egg white is where most of the protein is. So it gives us a little extra boost of protein as well. But like all of my recipes, take it and make it work for you. Once the eggs are ready to go, I'm gonna pour those in the pan over the broccoli and just give it a couple stirs until those eggs are set and just about cooked through. Then I like to sprinkle on a tablespoon or so of shredded cheddar cheese, shut off the heat and pop on a lid. I'm just gonna leave the lid on there until the cheese has melted and then this broccoli cheddar scramble is ready to go. Now you can serve this with some toast and some fruit and you have yourself this beautiful, clean and delicious veggie packed breakfast in under 10 minutes. So last but not least is a kicked up can of soup. Now one of my favorite meals in a pinch is a can of lentil soup. I really love the Amy's lentil soup. I buy the veggie and lentil soup. It is delicious, has lots of fiber, a good amount of protein, and it's full of flavor. Now what I especially love to do when I'm having canned soup is to add some fresh vegetables to it. Not only does it add more flavor and more texture, but it breathes a little bit of life and energy back into the canned soup. So what I do is I heat just a kiss of olive oil in a small pot. Once that olive oil is heated through, I add a couple tablespoons of chopped onion and one clove of crushed garlic. Toss it around, let it get started. Once you can smell it, then you're gonna add in a big handful of kale from your crudite. Stir that all together and we're gonna let it cook for two minutes or so. Now, whenever I prepare my kale for the crudite, after I'm done washing and stemming it, I dry it really well, then I slice it into ribbons. This way it's ready to go for soups and salads or whatever you want to make with it. Very convenient. Once the kale has cooked down a bit, then you're gonna add in the soup. Then you're just gonna give that a few stirs and once it comes to a boil and it's heated through, 
your soup is ready to go. So pour it into your favorite bowl, and if you're feeling extra fancy, top it with a little bit of fresh crumbled feta cheese. A super simple, nourishing, veggie-packed meal that tastes fresh and vibrant and comes together in under 10 minutes. And there it is, three more ways to use your crudite. And so now, of course, I'm curious and I wanna know which one of these recipes do you think you'll try first and why? Come on down in the comments below and let me know. And when you try a recipe, do me a favor and snap a picture and then tag me on Instagram or on Facebook and use the hashtag OMG C and D so I can see what type of deliciousness you are making in your very own kitchens. Don't forget guys, if you wanna print these recipes, you can print them at cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. And there you have it, a super simple, nourishing, veggie packed meal, fresh veggie packed meal that came together in under 10 minutes, fresh and vibrant, but it came from a can. Ready, I got it, ready, I got it that time, ready? And there you have it, a fresh, vibrant, veggie packed meal that I forgot what I was saying.